Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Anton. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a fantastic day because you're going to be returning to uh, Delta Goodrim. And honestly, enough, it's obvious, but it blew me away. It's one of my favorite songs we've ever done on the channel. And it's been on repeat on my playlist since I listened to it. Just mind-blowingly incredible song. You know, it's just one of those songs where you guys know me. I'm usually like... Um, very I'm usually not a huge fan of those like you know love yourself songs I find them a lot of the time cheesy but you know when you get some artists like Delta or like Savage Garden I feel like you know they have such an amazing story and authenticity that they make me believe in that message more than almost anyone else does but incredible song and this is a big shout out to Mans for requesting this one and this is Wings and before we get into it as always if you guys have any song requests for me and you want to vote on what artists come on the channel every single week join everybody in the discord first link down below and if you want guaranteed song requests and you want to check out all of our full album reactions like we're doing we just finished to Savage Garden's Affirmation join everybody in the Patreon also link down below and that's it so let's get a Delta Goodrum Wings Okay, so her voice is actually remarkably versatile. Like, in Enough, she had this throaty kind of register, like really throaty. And, um, like, not raspy, but you know what I mean? Like, it was, know, she had a bit of a, a smoky register. Where this, this is much poppier. And I love them both. Like, this is very catchy so far. I like the lyrics a lot, too. But I just noticed that right there. I'm like, hmm, this is like... She, this doesn't sound like the same person. If, if you played me both, I would not know it's the same person at all. This sounds like another incredible singer, but I wouldn't have caught it was uh, Delta. Everybody's looking for a new horizon. Everybody's looking for a second chance. Everybody's wishing they could take a step. Everybody's looking for a second chance. What if I lose my self control? What if I choose to let?
man, that's an incredible song. Straight up, <laughs> that that is, yeah, that's a near perfect pop song. I feel like that. That's just you know, pop is an interesting genre because a lot of the time it's so simplistic. And but what I think that pop just does so well is the choruses. Like you know, because again, I, I I don't think pop is a genre. I think pop is a songwriting style. And usually, what I consider pop is like okay incredibly meticulously crafted chorus that's an earworm that's super catchy this song has that 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 these wings are uh made to fly it's gonna be stuck in my head like the entire day um but you know the worst part about pop is when it's not grounded when it's not real when it's not authentic you're just getting stupid choruses stuck in your head um like you know i to anyone who likes this song i i apologize but like you know, I feel like there's that blank space song by Taylor Swift. And I was a lifeguard for, you know, many years, right? And I'm like, I don't like this song at all. Like, it just, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't hit me emotionally. I just, it just feels like a paint by numbers pop song. But I, I couldn't get that chorus out of my head. And I'm like, this this is the weird thing about pop is this, it's just kind of catchy. And that's why I think everyone in a detrimental manner talks about pop music they're like it's just catchy but then i'd show them something like this i'm like man this has so many layers there's incredible orchestration and this song shows up at delta is a remarkable pianist like straight up incredible um like you know a lot of people can kind of play simple slow melodies but what she was doing there in the bridge i was like Whoa. it added so much of this this um energy too like the way she plays piano, she has a fire to the way she plays piano. She has this uplifting spirit. And one thing I love about her too is like a lot of the time, like I said, a lot of these like uplifting songs are cheesy to me, but the way that she does them, she is like a phoenix in there. She is just burning with passion. And she felt like I'm just completely immersed in the song. Like I said, orchestration, incredible. Piano, incredible. Violins, I just absolutely adore those in the background. And how the song would actually, songwriting the song was brilliant too. I it started off very minimalistic from the percussion standpoint. And then it built into, I don't think it, I don't think it ever had like a full drum kit, but it built into a rhythm that I was able to like essentially have simulated drums to. There's some things that added, like I added a few rolls here because I think for the most, the most part, um, actually I think there was some rolls. So I think there was actually a drummer in this song, which I was stunned by when I saw that in enough. I just, I love that she uses like musicians. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a lost art in the world nowadays and music that, a lot of time we don't use actual musicians anymore. And and I think you can feel that in the music. I think you can feel the, even if you can have simulated drummers, simulated guitar, simulated everything, I feel like there's just, there's an energy that you get when you have real artists playing those parts. I think that that's a lost art that I think in five or 10 years we'll come back to as our music becomes more and more devoid of any feeling and emotion. I think we'll start to wonder why doesn't music have the lingering effect it used to like, yeah, it's like, it's a quick fix. It's a dopamine hit. It's catchy. It, st it sticks in my head, but it doesn't leave me with anything. It doesn't leave me with, with anything like Delta does or Savage Garden, Darren Hayes, or just any incredible pop artist. You know what I mean? This is, this is the best style of pop for me. Because it's everything that pop does well, but it it also adds something and it doesn't have any of the detriments because it has the depth, it has the just the authenticity that Delta always brings. And let's quickly uh, jump in the lyrics on this one. Um, let's see, was this a big hit? But, no, I didn't say anything. Oh, same album as Wings of the Wild. So I really like the sound on this record because yeah, enough is down there. Um, just great lyrics. Um, a beating drum, it's in my lungs. I breathe it in, it takes my breath away. I don't look back, it's just a trap. We're all one, but we're not the same. That, that, that's a potent line. Um, and then the pre-chorus is very true. Um, everybody's looking for a new horizon. Everybody wants to leave the world behind them. Everybody's looking for a new horizon. Everybody's looking for a second chance. Everybody's wishing that they could take a stand. Everybody's looking for a second chance. Yeah, this is very much, I feel like, almost like a um, a song about a pushing us into like a new future in some sense of feel like i feel like this statement wouldn't have worked 30 years ago i feel like culture was very different back then i feel like the new culture you know a lot of you know um what's the term baby boomers and stuff they always mock 
you know, the millennials, but this is a statement for millennials. This is what, you know, I'm a millennial. I'm the last year millennial, actually, I'm a 95. But I feel like the youth, millennials and younger, this is kind of our mantra for the world. Like we're, we're done with the way the world used to work. We're done with conformity. We're done with these things. We're, our generation's very much looking for new horizons, looking for new ways of living our lives, new emotional expressions. So I feel like Delta, in some sense, I feel like she is like the voice of our future generations. Um, what if I lose my self-control? What if I choose to let it go? I want to let you and me collide. Baby, these wings were made to fly. What I get from the chorus here is that she's saying essentially to fully love somebody, to fully embark on a journey in life, you have to lose control. You have to let it go. Like I'm very much a control person. That's my addiction. That's how I feel safe in the world is I control my environment and I control everything around me. And essentially with someone like me, if you leave me to my own devices, um, within reason, I can evolve. I'm evolving out of this, but kind of my default is that I will end up living the same life for the rest of my life. I, I will just, I'm like an efficiency machine. I will just find ways to further make my life more and more efficient where I have to use less and less energy to do what I want in my life, right? And I'm like the kind of, in some sense, the like corporation in some sense. I'm all about efficiency. And the problem with that though is, yeah, if you don't break that efficiency cycle, you never actually let go into anything. You never really embrace anything because to embrace is to let go. To embrace is to let go of your ego and to take something else in, right? If it's up to me, I probably have a very difficult time letting go of myself in the equation and letting something fully into me. The deepest veins, the darkest truth, the secret place I only want to share with you. Look in my eyes and dress my soul. It is fucking deep. Ooh, I think this song is about a new love. I think she's she's been afraid of actually falling in love for a long time, I think. Um, in some sense, me too. I think that's a really big fear of mine is losing control to love. You know what I mean? I, I had my heart shattered when I was 20. And I it's been a long time that I've kind of been rebuilding that. And I think some people, when they go through really traumatic experiences like that, it can make it very difficult to actually truly trust love and let love in. And I think that she's talking about another phase of her life where she, this person, she's like, okay, I'm going to let go into you. I'm, I'm going to let us collide. I'm going to let us become one. Mm, and then that goes into that first line. We're all one, but we're not the same because polarities, right? You need polarity for attraction. Um, if you look at any single relationship, there'll always be two to dichotomies within the relationship one person will probably be be more analytical the other will be more intuitive one will be more energetic and extroverted one will likely be more introverted and that will just keep going they'll have core similarities but a lot of the time the dominant energies will be very opposing but uh yeah this was brilliant um honestly man this was incredible and you know i feel like delta just keeps blowing me away so thank you to everybody who kept pushing for delta and uh what are your favorite delta good room songs let me know down below and if none of the patrons choose anything i'll be coming to you guys for some future ideas okay and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to help out with the youtube algorithm leave a like subscribe and also i want to give a big shout out to my tier three patrons so of course we got amber merrick we got Andy, Ayla, Brianna, Charles, David, Gage, Kelly, Laura, Mans, Matt, Melanie, Melissa, Nora, Paul, Robbie, Scott, and Stuart. Shout out to all of you guys, and I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.